When you talk about technology, you probably think about machines and those things associated with machines. But have you ever thought of the smart use of technology or technological concepts that are developed in plot featurings, you know, like drama? Basically, have you ever thought about technology in the context of movies, like drama, sci-fi, all those types of movies? Well, probably. And Netflix, as you probably already also watch, is the house of a multitude of great content, but it also consists of some really interesting tech-driven shows. So, beep boop, mother shuckers, let's get into it. The Cable Girls show aired from 2015 to just last year. That is 2020-21 if you're under a rock. It has a total of 5 seasons with a 7.6 rating out of 10. The Cable Girls show is based on themes that are honestly quite interesting, uh, not being biased. They're very interesting mostly to the, the drama or the historical genre. Cable Girls is originally a Spanish TV show that aired on Netflix, and the background or the narrative of the whole show was set in the historical time of the late 1920s. The production of the show is accomplished solely by Netflix. The whole Cable Girls series portrays the life of four figures who are women that work around in the 1928 in the area of Madrid, in Spain, as switchboard operators. These four women come face to face, or they discover each other, and form a very strong bond as time passes during the majority of the first season of the Cable Girls show. The show is predominantly focused on the social and the economic struggles of women during the 20th century in, in the world, and also the perils of working in the technological sector, which is all dominated by the patriarchal society, them damn men. The themes and messages conveyed through the show are honestly simple and precise, which makes it a, a really great show, easy to kick back and watch and get a good theme out of. So this show, this little old beauty that aired on Netflix, has grabbed the attention of many sci-fi and mystery fans out there. The Altered Carbon Show is basically, it, it, it's this novel adaptation of the same name, which was authored by Richard Morgan and released by the press in the year 2002. The series aired between 2018 to 2021 and holds an IMDb rating of 8 out of 10, which is solid, which you didn't need me to tell you. Moving on. Therefore, there's no reason for us to doubt how much of an audience this show's got for it to be ranked this high. <laughs> the show is based, just like the novel, on themes of mystery and science fiction and carbon being altered. It's got two seasons, and it started in February of 2018 as a Netflix production. The show displays the major and the significant impact on human lifestyle by technology over a period of 350 years. The show essentially depicts a world in which humans are capable of doing things like uploading and downloading digital material in the forms of discs, which are stored in the back of their own necks. Hence, it's technically a part of the human body. The premise of the Altered Carbon show is the major concept of humans being able to switch their bodies after death. The storyline is based on the vicious killer named Takeshi Kovacs, who suddenly finds himself in the body of a prisoner in jail. And he's given two choices. To stay locked up in a cell in somebody else's body, or to find out about the others and solve the murder mystery of the world's wealthiest man, whose name is Lorne Bancroft. As interesting as the name sounds, haha ha, sarcasm, the IT crowd is a show that is part of the comedy genre, which aired between 2016 and 2021. It has an IMDb rating as high as our earlier show, which is a total of 8 out of 10. The show is on the longer side and consists of 6 full seasons. The show ended with a special episode in the year 2013, after the whole series was developed and produced through the years of 2006 to 2010. The show is quite necessarily representative of the true life situations that introverted office workers of the tech department need to face on a daily basis. And as an introverted person myself, I get it. The show features two socially awkward individuals, Richard Ayode and Dodoud, who works in the IT department of Rainholm Industries, which is a fictional department of course. They also have a boss who's basically unaware of everything around him and has almost anything that concerns technology in its simplest aspects. The show gained more fans because it highlights a perfect image of what end users or workers look like to anybody who's actually qualified. The show is basically a sitcom rather than a predominantly, you know, like a comedy like I said, and it's based on the tech industry itself, so check it out. I mean, how could we have a tech Netflix show and not talk about Black Mirror? It is, so far, the highest rated show by IMDb in this list, ranking at an 8.8 .8 out of 10. 
The show is, again, produced by Netflix and is based on the genre of drama and science fiction. It contains a total of five seasons that have aired between 2011 to 2021. The Black Mirror Tech Show, brought to us by Netflix and the Honorable Charlie Brooker, basically shows us the dark sides of technology in general and the ways in which it can produce adverse effects on society at a larger scale, more so than we might realize. It's a long series, depending on your perspective, that consists of short films broken down into episodes which are clubbed together and given the name of Black Mirror. The series portrays the invention of the simplest ideas involving technology which can take the worst possible toll on humankind and life around them. One of the mention-worthy themes of the series is the use or the concept of social media, and how the inventions of games involving virtual reality or VR as we know it can have really negative, substantial impacts on the world today. So one of the reasons why this series is so killer bonkers high rated is because of its dark concepts. So who doesn't love a little bit of dark stuff? And it's cinematography too, and it's plot of course is super well written, which leaves onlookers unable to look away from their screen for even a second. Or at least me, which I assume is a common experience with that show. Another impressive show by Netflix is Halt and Catch Fire. It has a high rating of 8.4 out of 10, as proposed by IMDb, and it basically makes it the second most highly rated show on this list here. The show is based on the genre of drama and has a total of four seasons. To be honest, this show can be called one of the best technology-based shows developed by the duo of Chris Cantwell and Chris Rogers and brought to us by Netflix. In the very first season of the show, there's depictions of Compaq, which is seen copying IBM in the historical times of 1980s. This also has two other seasons which are solely dedicated to the birth of the modern World Wide Web, or to put it simply, the internet, which you're using right now, hey look at that. The seasons focus on its skyrocketing usage and its popularity. The show, while though criticized by the watchers for its somewhat experimental portrayal between the, the shift of the 90, 80s and the 90s, it remains a go-to option for many viewers' first option when it comes to a show based on tech. When it comes to naming tech-based shows on Netflix, the list can go on, and the list can go on. Many latest Netflix TV shows and technology shows are emerging in the very same genre as a result of technological breakthroughs. We're wondering what the next step is, what we gotta worry about. Neuralink, there's already some Black Mirror type stuff that exists today. It's inspiring more screenwriters to create tech-based series. And that brings us to the end of the video. I did hope you enjoyed it, I hope it brought you some good information, and I hope you didn't click off. Because that would be mean, man, what's wrong with you? Anyways, bell icon, subscribe, like, all that boring stuff, that'd be cool, and um, yeah, thanks for that, later.